What's going on guys? This is Chandler Smith and I'm super pumped about today's video because I am with the one, the only Jack Doherty. I think he's uh, stealing some food from my kitchen right now. <laughs> But today, I'm gonna help Jack Doherty find a Tesla house. Now, he's hoping to find a house that he can purchase the house, and then the house is going to pay his Tesla payment. But here's the deal. He has uh, the desire to find a really nice, flashy, big house. Yeah, it needs to resemble a Tesla. Like, you need to be able to look at this house and be like, yo, that's a Tesla house. You know? I, I bring him to, or I bring up a fourplex or something older, and he's like, no, I need something big. And so in today's video, we're gonna see what we can find because he wants something sick that's gonna pay for the Tesla. But my concern is finding something that cash flows to pay for the Tesla. So we're gonna see if we can find a happy medium and hopefully find you a house that works. Let's do it. All right, let's see what happens. Hey, you need a snack? Sure. All right, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Only caught one, I'm, I'm All right, imagine. can you clean that up? We gotta yes. roll. <laughs> All right, guys, it breaks my heart, but since we're buying the Tesla house, we have to take the Tesla but I don't want to bring the Tesla. We have but we to. have to bring the Tesla. We must take the Tesla. <laughs> so Jack, you're actually, you bought the exact same Tesla. Literally. What are you gonna wrap it in? I'm not sure yet. I just got the outside in white because it was the cheapest option. I knew I was gonna wrap it right, right away. So, still deciding. I like that wrap, but I don't know, boys. I also like the purple. The purple's crazy. It's, all these cars are crazy. I don't know, it's so hard to decide. All right, guys, the first property I took Jack to was one of my fourplexes, which honestly is one of my favorite properties ever. However, he was not that impressed. He said bigger and better. I'm trying to explain to him that it comes down to the cash flow that's gonna pay for his Tesla, but I think he also wants just a cool looking house. So I'm gonna break down the numbers. I'm gonna sell him on buying the right kind of investment property. But right now we're going out to just look at a sick house that we're hoping we can find a way to make the numbers work so he can pay for his Tesla. So Jack, knowing that I don't think the numbers are gonna work on this property before we've even seen it, what are you thinking? I wanna see anyway. <laughs> so we're gonna go, we're gonna run the numbers and we'll see what happens. All right guys, this is house number two and this one's fun. Jack could get to decide what he wants it to look like. It's not even finished yet, so we're gonna go give him a walkthrough. But you could literally put whatever Tesla vibe you want. I mean, you could do the walls in this That's white true. leather. See if it matches, you know, my Tesla vibe. So uh, this is actually one of my favorite hobbies, Jack. I love sneaking into unfinished homes and just seeing how they're coming together. This smell means money unless it's new construction. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So we're walking through this new construction. It's nowhere near being done. And one question I get asked a lot is, Chandler, do you ever buy new construction? Have you ever thought about building an apartment complex or building a duplex or fourplex? And yes, I've thought about it. It would be awesome to be able to do. What keeps me from doing it is when you can buy something that was built in the 70s or 80s, a lot of times there's a lot more opportunity for value add. Right now, when you're building, that's kind of part of what sets the market. So yeah, you might be able to find a builder that would do it at a discount, but still it's really hard to get the kind of return that I'm getting you know, 12, 15, 18% cash on cash return on an investment property when you're building it brand new. It doesn't necessarily mean that's a bad way to invest. It's just not my way to invest. So when I walk in here, I love the smell of them fixing it up. I love sheetrock going up. I love all of this because when I'm doing that in an older property, it means we're about to make money. But in something like this, I haven't got into these projects because I personally haven't found the right way to make it make me the kind of return that I get on other properties. So would I consider new construction? If the numbers worked, yes, but it's hard to get the numbers to work. What do you think of this one? I mean, there's a lot of personalization. However, again- Yeah, it's hard to see the vision when it's not done. It's hard to see it and it's not about the vision, it's about if it makes money, Jack. It is about money, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, that's house number two. We gotta do the walkthrough. Are you ready for house number three? Oh, I'm so ready, let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, we just got to the Tesla house. We got all these cars lined up nice and pretty. Jack's over vlogging the heck out of this thing. Jack, I gotta be honest, I don't know if the numbers are gonna work on this one. Man, we think? are checking this thing out. This thing is like the perfect Tesla house. It literally looks like, yo, like this screams Tesla right here. They should like put <laughs> Tesla on the freaking house. <laughs> so you're, you're pretty in love, numbers is. Oh, I'm in love. All right, guys, I'm super excited to go show Jack this house. However, we threw this together. They're just letting us take full run of the house. Shout out to MDS Homes. If you're looking in the Shelley or Idaho Falls area, 
this house is pretty sick. So we're gonna go inside and take a look with Jack and then we're gonna rip him apart on the numbers or potentially see if maybe vacation rental numbers might yeah. work for a property like this. We gotta find a way to get him in a cool house but also this pay for his Tesla. Tesla house, boys, let's go. Let's walk in, boys. Tesla house number three, here we go. Beautiful, I want it right now. Taylor, I want this right now. <laughs> so Jack, I love the house. Me I too. Just, I'm still just so hesitant about the numbers because we gotta find something that's gonna make you the money. Man, man, stop with that. We looking at this whole thing. I think this is a garage. Let me just say we're very lucky that we got him a duplex first so that we knew we could buy him something that will cash flow well before getting him in this home. <laughs> Look, you can keep Tesla 1 and Tesla 2 right there and put the chargers right there and right there. Truth be told, there's room for three of them in here. I know because I've been playing some uh, serious car Tetris in my place. Sold. <laughs> Sold. So, uh, so I'm in here with Garrett, another experienced real estate investor. Now we're going along with this, Garrett. We're, we're trying to push this 17-year-old kid, Jack, into buying a proper investment property. We got him a duplex that we were able to find 12% cash on cash return, incredible investment. However, he is pumped out of his mind about this one. What are your thoughts on how well this will cash flow? Chandler, I, uh, I hate to do this to you, but I think Jack's right. Oh, no. I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, here we go. I have a good friend who bought a house, not even this nice. This, this house is beautiful but he's cash flowing 30% through Airbnb. Wow, it's true, Jesus. it's Jack, a weird Jack, world we live in. Okay. So we'll play around with the vacation rental numbers. This one is not gonna be uh, Chandler Smith approved though. So I, it's a beautiful home, but we'll give you guys a quick tour, show you, see what Jack thinks. However, again, I'm so grateful that we got you in that duplex because that thing's gonna make That's you some money. Cash out. <laughs> Closet, sink, bathtub, you know, another sink, there's two sinks in here, dang. What do you think? I think watching you two is uh, hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think this is the merch room for you. Yeah. You've got the natural light in the morning. Right up front. Show the Tesla merch right there. You can see it through the front window. So Jack, here's the thing. I mean, maybe maybe this does, maybe it doesn't work as an investment property, but what if you just move out to Idaho with us? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bedroom number three. Oh, nice and cozy. And you can even hop out the window and sneak out at night, you know? You know you're young when one of the selling points of a house is your ability to sneak yes. out. <laughs> so out of the uh, the three options, what's your pick? Bro, this one right here, no cap. This one's so fire. Just All right, guys, this experience has been super fun with Jack. However, I want you to know the reason that I posted this video is I see so many people that come in that haven't invested in real estate and they're pumped out of their mind. They find a deal that they think is incredible. And when I actually sit down with them and show them the numbers, it gives them a gut ache and they're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't buy this. And I think what you need to remember is at the end of the day, you've got to find a property that you're getting the return you need. One, because that's why you invest, but two, to protect yourself. You want cash flow so that if you don't have a tenant or so that if you get a tenant and you need a lower rent to keep tenants in there, you're always in a place where not only you're going to be able to pay your mortgage, you're going to be able to continue to cash flow and it's going to be a good investment for you. And in my opinion, there are lots of properties that you can buy and they're going to go up in value, but it's a little more of a gamble. I don't want you to buy just for appreciation. Appreciation is awesome, but I want you to get cash flow, principal pay down, and appreciation so that your return can be two or three times as much because you did it right. Now, again, if you guys want to learn more, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, and catch my future videos where my goal is to help you to build a huge passive income through real estate and there's just a little time left to pick up my course where I can show you not only how to find deals, but how to run the numbers to make sure that you're in the right deals, go through the whole due diligence and everything else in the process. So if you wanna grab the course, there is just a little time left. And because of the one and only Jack Doherty, if you use the code Jack, you can get $200 off. So the course will be just 99 bucks. It's over nine hours. We're constantly adding content to it. So you have everything you need to start investing and invest properly. All right, Jack, you ready to see the numbers on this property? Run it. Okay. Hey, come here. We got to go into the office to run the numbers. Now, love the house. It's beautiful. You just picked up the duplex where you got a 12% cash on cash return. You're going to bring in thousands of dollars in cash flow on that property. So you killed it. If you guys want to see that video, 
click the link in the description or the link that should pop up up here somewhere. But on this property at a $400,000 purchase price, I think best case scenario, you're gonna be able to rent this place at 1,800 a month. I just wanna give you a little taste. We've put in all the expenses, taxes, insurance, everything. $1,800 a month? Yeah. And how much does this place cost? $400,000. That's like my the duplex I bought was one eighty and I'm making almost eighteen hundred dollars. Yeah, talking about two duplexes and make double the money compared. To, dang, you know, not a good idea. It hurts your soul, huh? Yeah, definitely the, not smart. And, and here's the thing: is people need space to live in, yeah. right? And when you're trying to rent a place like this, once you get above eighteen hundred in this area, people would prefer to just go and buy because their mortgage. You could get a mortgage for a thousand dollars a month. Does that make sense? Yeah. And that's why here in this higher end stuff, it just doesn't make sense. Now, if you can vacation rental this property, you could do well if this is an area that that does well and if we're not dealing with COVID where people aren't traveling as much. So a little more risky. I'm not saying you couldn't make it work with a vacation rental, but that's something I don't do a whole lot with. When you run the numbers on this, can you see what that number says right there? 3.79%. Do you see those little brackets around it? Yeah. That, that means you're losing money owning no this way. property. Yeah, so if you purchase this as your Tesla house, it would go up in value. I see this market exploding when it comes to appreciation, but actual cash flow every month, you'd go from that $8,500 you're making in your duplex that you paid half as much for to losing money every I single have to month. sell my Tesla, like huh? This. Yeah. <laughs> pay for this house. So I love this as an example because the Tesla house is a great idea and we're gonna find the right one for you in a market where we can add value, where you can cash flow, where you can pay for the Tesla, but a beautiful home like this isn't going to do that, at least not in cash flow. Again, it might go up in value and it could be a decent investment there, but we want cash flow appreciation. We want it all for you. Yeah. Hello darkness, my old friend. Okay. <laughs> all right guys, I didn't include a ton of the video in this video, but I did take Jack to a fourplex earlier. Yeah. That would be a perfect Tesla house. It would pay for your Tesla. However, this house, after running the numbers, Take an L. It's gonna cost you money. <laughs> yeah. Now, some people might say, Chandler, you can rent that for more than 1800. You're right, but you just don't know. I mean, you hit that level, and unless you find someone that's in a real bind, potentially moving into a house or whatever else, you're gonna have a hard time getting more than that. Now, with vacation rental, again, you could do it. I'm not saying it's not possible, but you have the risk of more vacancy, you've got a lot more maintenance, you've got more management, you've got a lot of other things, and again, that can be a good option if you know what you're doing. In this specific area, it would not work. This is not a place vacation rentals are going to thrive. It's a little bit out in the middle of nowhere. We're gonna have to give this one a uh, big thumbs down for the Tesla house. All right, guys, it's been super fun coming to look at some new construction homes, especially with me in the process of building my home. However, if you're in the local Idaho Falls, Pocatello, Rexburg, um, Shelly area, we have to give a shout out to MDS Homes. They've been incredible to let us come and hang out, check out their homes. Also, I'm gonna pop over here. Anything else you wanna say about your homes? Dude, we appreciate you coming by. You like it? Oh, I love it, dude. What's Beautiful. Part there, dude? Um, all of it, but all the floors it? and the kitchen, it's just very, very well done. We're here in Idaho Falls, Idaho, and the problem is everyone in this area is about 10 years behind with their style. You guys are not with this home. It is just done perfectly. Thank you. So I'll put a link in the description for you guys below if you are thinking about building with them and you guys can check them out. Call us, yeah, please. All right, guys, the sun is going down. We we're able to show Jack a fourplex, a couple new construction homes. We we're able to show him some really cool stuff. However, nothing where the numbers work like the duplex we hooked you up with. So yeah. how are you feeling? Where, I mean, what are your goals? What are your plans after everything we've done this weekend? I mean, uh, definitely gotta keep looking for the Tesla house because those last two houses definitely weren't the greatest investments out. It, it made me smile, you know, they were nice houses, but it just wouldn't make me the money that I would be looking for to pay for my Tesla. So. I hate to see the discouragement I cause when I say, look, the numbers just don't work. It's not a good deal. But what I love is the more homes you pass on, the better you're gonna get at finding the right property to purchase. Now, luckily for you, the first one with the duplex, I've looked at literally thousands of deals now, and so we hooked you up fat on that one. But I wanna get you to the point where you see a deal and you know for yourself, it's a good deal to jump on. And when we get you there, you're gonna scale like crazy, create a huge passive income, and then you can do whatever you want with that. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll look forward to seeing you in the future videos. And again, if you wanna grab my real estate investing course, it's usually $300, but if you use the code Jack, just click the link in the description, use the code Jack when you check out, and you can get it for only 99 bucks. Oh, somebody's behind us. We gotta go. Have a great day, guys.